Morgan Stanley set to reap big gains from its control of Chicago parking meters, which at least from the city, a situation that could be coming to other cities around the country. Maybe yours. Gigi Stone has more parking meters, Gigi. Yeah, Mark, it's a way Morgan Stanley's making money you might not have thought of. All those quarters you put in a parking meter. Well, it's not always quarters these days, but this all started when the city of Chicago decided to privatize its parking meters to help plug its runaway deficit. Well, now a partnership led by Morgan Stanley may earn a profit on the parking meters of nine and a half billion dollars. Abu Dhabi Investment Authority and Allianz Capital Partners are the other partners in the deal called Chicago Parking Meters LLC. And the privatization is costing drivers a lot more to park. Morgan Stanley's partnership raised parking rates twice since the lease began. The price at some meters rose to $4.25 an hour from $3 since January of 2009 and will go to $6.25 an hour in 2013, Mark. Ouch, but there are questions over whether this was the best thing for taxpayers, right? Yeah, well, the partnership's going to make 10 times more than the city of Chicago would have made for use of the very same parking meters. So there's a lot of public outcry over whether these parking meters would have been worth far more to taxpayers had they remained in public hands. And this is raising questions about whether the city negotiated the best deal it could for leasing away one of its most lucrative assets, arguably. But what this deal really illustrates is how all the Wall Street banks are profiting from helping states and cities close their record deficits right now by selling bonds and leasing those public properties, Mark. All right. Bloomberg Gigi Stone joining us. Gigi, thank you so much.